Okay, next question. So we're going to use the method again. We're going to annotate the question. And although the question is fairly simple at this stage, as we go through some more, you'll see the questions get a little bit more in depth and the annotations really do start to help. Um, so write an algorithm in pseudocode that allows a user to enter 500 numbers. So we've got our annotations down, down the bottom here. This is what we're going to look for. We're looking for a loop. Um, so I can see here, enter 500 numbers. That suggests we have to repeat that 500 times. And we also have the input here allowing the user to enter a number. So we can annotate those. We've got our input, we've got a loop. We don't have to do anything with the numbers. So there's no processing and we're not outputting anything. So um, we, can, we can leave it at that. So <clears throat> let's go ahead now and use what we've annotated to write our answer. So we don't input anything before the before the loop starts, so we need to start off with a loop. Now, we know we can use a for loop because uh, we know that we've been told in the question we need to uh, repeat 500 times, so it, we can use a for loop for that. So the for loop structure, we can write for num, that's going to be our loop variable, assign one to 500. <coughs> that's gonna go around 500 times. So we then need to input a number inside the loop. So again, we're going to use input to uh, store whatever the person has typed in and uh, assign it to that variable number and we'll output a helpful message so they know what they're doing. And all we need to do is finish our loop structure to have the next num here. So that will uh, num will start off at one, then the next number will be two and so on until we get to 500. And then uh, also we're going to declare the variable here. So every time we introduce a new variable, we're going to declare that at the top. So declare uh, number is the identifier or the name of the variable number, and the data type is going to be integer. Okay, so thank you very much. I'll stop this one and uh, have a look at the next one.